Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple uh, composite analysis and sandwich type composite analysis in ANSYS Workbench by using ACP module. So I previously dragged an ACP preprocessing block to my Workbench page. So you can have it from component systems here by using this ACP pre. So I have a geometry here. Let me show you. Yeah, I have a simple rectangular sheet. So I will do my analysis on this geometry. So let me close this. And first thing uh, I want to do is adding materials to my workbench so I go through my library and here ANSYS have a good composite library actually uh, here, there's a composite materials tab for in engineering data so we have some composite materials so I will take uh, I will do an sandwich type analysis so I will take a honeycomb material and and prepreg epoxy carbon fabric so this will do it so i have them here you can add your own material if you want if you have experimental data of your material you can edit from here i have a video about adding or editing materials in workbench so you can watch it if you don't know how to do it so uh, first we need we need to mesh our geometry so i will go through model so in sizing so let me increase this relevance value and this face sizing value as 10 millimeters so update mesh so yeah that will do it i have a meshing video if you are interested but it's a very basic video actually the basics of meshing in ansys so let me update this project so icp module is doing something it's not needed now uh, before going into the setup of acp module I wanna uh, connect my static structural uh, block to my uh, ACP block. So you need to do it that way. Just drag setup of ACP to model of static structural, and you you need to click on transfer shell data, shell composite data because we have a plate as I show you in geometry uh, we have a 2d geometry and it's a shell if you are doing a 3d analysis 3d composite analysis you will need to click on uh, transfer solid composite data but now we will transfer shell data data so yeah it's connected now so i will go into the setup of acp So this is the interface of ACP preprocessing uh, module of ANSYS. So you, as you can see, we have here our materials and our geometry here. So first thing I need to do is add some fabrics. We will define thicknesses in this 
parts so I will name it carbon and I will select my epoxy carbon material and give it a thickness of let me say 0, 0 0.25 so okay and one more fabric for our core our honeycomb and I'll give it a thickness of 15 millimeters so yeah we defined our fabrics on ACP module and we will now need to define some stick stick ups so you will you will define here how you will lay up your uh, fabric actually your carbon fabric epoxy carbon fabric so I will define it as uh, one ply uh, goes through uh, one cross and other ply goes through another cross so I will give it a minus uh, 45 and plus 45 angles so you will enter it uh, as your uh, fabric as as how you lay up your fabric so I will just define it here now so I will add some sub laminate so you will need to select your stick up your car carbon and your stick up once more and you will need to uh, define your angle of carbon as 90 so let me rename them so yeah so we need to add some rosettes and uh, just the default uh, properties of rosette is okay for us so rosette one is here and let me just rename it also and we need to add some oriented select selection sets so this oriented selection sets will not uh, actually will not affect your solving process but it will affect how you uh, see your results so here uh, it says select an element sets and if you just click the plus button behind uh, uh, sorry near the element sets tab you will see here is an all elements uh, selection so just click it and you will see all elements is here so and you need to define a rosette for oriented selection sets so just click on the rosette you defined and for orientation you'll just need to uh, click on a point on your geometry here just click on somewhere uh, it will not affect as I said your solving process your uh, results but it will affect how you will see your results so okay so now we need to add three modeling groups for for bottom for top and for the core so let me say composite bottom composite core and composite top So now we will need to create some plies. So for core, just right click on the composite core and uh, select create ply. And uh, in oriented selection sets, uh, click on your created oriented selection set. So ply material is uh, core and ply angle is zero for uh, for honeycomb so number of layers is one and 
or bottom you'll add um, at apply so the material is the carbon and selection set is the same and uh, in number of reels uh, you you'll enter your number of layers uh, your your own composite uh, your, your own number of layers in your composite so I will just enter four now and for top I'll create apply and just the same carbon and you'll need to enter the opposite angle uh, for bottom so if you enter the bottom as 90 you'll enter here 0 and as we entered 0 for the bottom we'll enter 90 here and also the same for layers so just click on update to see so yes so our work on the, this ACP interface is done, ACP pre interface is done actually. We will also go through the uh, ACP post processing uh, block later. Just update the project. ACP is doing something. And also update the static structural model too. So, uh, click on setup of static structural and it will start uh, ANSYS mechanical. So here ANSYS have transferred the data we entered on ACP. So uh, we have our plies here as you can see it's all transferred. So we'll just need to uh, define our loads our fix our fixes so i will just define uh, some force on the top let me say 50 newtons in not that way but Yeah, in that way, and I will fix the part from the bottom. And I'll take the solutions of... No, I will not take the solutions. I, I can see the solutions in ACP post-processing uh, post processing, uh, block. So I'll just click on solve. So yeah, uh, our structural analysis is solved, and now I will I will take a ACP post module and drag it into the model of ACP preprocessing block. So here I dragged it here, and I will take the results of static structural module uh, into sorry solution of static structural module into results of ACP post-processing module so yeah it, this is our schematic for uh, a basic sandwich type analysis sandwich sandwich analysis uh, in ANSYS workbench so I will update the project
so yeah it's all done and I can see the results now just I just clicked on results in ACP post processing module so yes now I can have my solutions yes it's okay and No, not view. Sorry, just delete it. And uh, from this solution one here, it comes default with your analysis. I I did not uh, edit manually, so it is a default solution. And just right click on it. Right click on it. Sorry. And uh, choose the data you want to see. So I will. Uh, I will select deformation and yes all elements and click OK and update the project once again so you can see the deformation of our plate uh, it is seen as 2D module but don't worry uh, as it has defined it as a sandwich and it has thickness actually but we can't see it so don't worry it's an uh, it's an applicable analysis now for a an basic analysis basic composite analysis in answers workbench using ACP module uh, and I actually I don't uh, recommend you to just rely on this analysis so uh, because composite applications can vary in very uh, so in so many par parameters like how you lay up your composite it is exact as you defined here so uh, I, I recommend you to rely on experimental data but this can show the general picture of your material behavior so it is good for it so I think this is enough for an basic composite analysis so see you later